Hello student, let us model the 7.8. So as you can see here in this model, we have front view, side view and top view. So in front view, I will be able to see the shape as well as this block. So what I will be doing here is I will be creating this entire thing with the help of front plane. So in SOLIDWORKS, I will be selecting front plane as my sketch plane and I will be drawing this profile as well as this profile. I will be extruding this for 80 and I will extrude uh, this for 20. Open SOLIDWORKS, select part, click OK. Select front plane as your sketch plane, go to sketch, go to line, draw a rough sketch of the profile which I showed you just now. Now start with the dimension. So this is 20, from here to here the distance is 100, this dimension is 40, this is 60, This dimension is thirty three zero. Still, you can see the blue color lines. So, this is ten M. This is ten, and this distance from here to here should be twenty. Just let me see, see this distance can be up and down. So this height has to be uh, given overall height. So what is my dimension from here till here? The distance is 80. So give 80 mm overall height. Now you can see it's completely constrained. Exit sketch, select the sketch, go to feature, extrude. While extruding, select mid plane so that the entire uh, extrusion will start from the mid plane. So give the distance as 80 mm. So 40 mm on both the sides it will extrude. Click OK. The sketch plane will be in the mid plane. You can see the sketch is exactly in the middle, and on both the sides the extrusion will happen. Right now, select the sketch, go to extrude, select this, save mid plane thickness is 20 mm thickness is 20 mm to 0 20 mm click ok click ok now this completes the extrusion part now we have to remove some portion of the material here as well as here for that we need to go to the profile plane that is the right plane and we will try to remove the material so right click on right plane sketch normal to now we will draw the profiles what are the profiles we will draw you go to midpoint line I will draw midpoint line here and I will draw a normal line here as well as here as well as here now I will dimension this this should be 40 it should be 40 and this is 10 mm, 14, 10. So this rectangle is over. I need to draw one more rectangle here. So go to midpoint line. So select this as your starting point. Draw a midpoint line. So this should be horizontal. Next, extrude up to this, up to this, up to this. Now smart dimension this is 30 this is 30 20 is the height yes. 
Okay. So as you can see here, the midpoint line is here. This, this should be vertical. It should happen. So, so let us see. It is moving. So that means it is not constrained. So let me constrain with respect to the origin. Origin vertical. Now it becomes black. The sketch is fully different. Now it cannot move. You can try to drag it. It will not move. Now the profile, what I have done is on right profile plane. So what I should do is I should cut the material. So I'll exit from the sketch plane. I will select the sketch. I will go to extrude cut. Extrude cut. Not in this direction. Opposite direction. Here you have an option called through all. So through all, click OK. So when you do that, the material will be cut. You can see here, it has been cut. Now let us save this model. Control 1, this is your friend, right? So let us go to File, Save, 7.8. 7.8, save it. File, make drawing from part. A4 297 210 MMGS scale next right click on sheet one properties first angle projection apply changes go to view palette friend so they have taken one is to two so if you want to change the scale you can select it and you can always change the scale so let me make it one is to 1.5 this is sufficient. Go to drawing, projected view, click on this front view, you get side view, front view, top view, then comes your isometric view. Drag it, place it here, switch on the shape mode for this, switch on hidden lines for this, switch on hidden lines for this. Now dimension the things. So go to annotation, smart dimension. From here to here it is 40. The overall length from here to here is 100. Right? Now similarly, from here to here is 30. From here to here is 20. The bigger dimension should be outside, the smaller dimension should be inside. 60. Distance between these two is 30. This is 25, 25. Next comes this portion. This is 20, 40, and 20. In top view, this is 80. Like this, you can name it. Go to options, document properties, dimensions, remove trailing zeros, click OK. Now let us place the dimensions here. So this completes the problem.